Elgato made a, a dynamic XLR mic. That's neat. Hey, the sponsor of today's video wanted to give you something for free to make your streams look great. So check this out. So VBI has released a ton of professionally designed background packs and they wanna give every single one of you $5 of credits towards those background packs, which is great because that's how much most of them cost. They come with static images and looping animations and each theme comes with multiple designs. That way you can keep a consistent theme around your stream and still give each scene its own look. Here, let me show you some. We've got magical, we've got space, We've got anime, we've got haunted, we've got military. There is a long list of backgrounds. They can be used as OBS backgrounds, camera backgrounds for streaming, Zoom, or Discord calls, even desktop backgrounds if you want. To get the $5 credit, either just use the link in the description below or use code Senpai Screen at checkout. This will give you free access to almost any screen pack in the entire store, or it'll give you $5 off any premium pack, like for example, the Illustrated Anime Lo-Fi Pack, or some of the mega packs if you really love options. But this offer ends one week from the day this video is published. So so if you're a live streamer, a video editor, or work from home professional, grab yourself a free background pack from Visuals by Impulse. I gotta say the thing real quick, this video is not sponsored by Elgato. However, they did send me this mic. In fact, they sent me two. And I feel like this one was a mistake. So here's what I'm thinking. Why don't we just do a giveaway for this one? Follow me on my personal YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Harris Heller, and follow me on Twitter. I'll have both links in the description below. Uh, and I'll DM someone on Twitter. I'll DM the winner. I will not, however, uh, I will not be responding to comments saying, you've won a giveaway. Hit me up on Telegram. You know what I'm talking about. Those aren't real. Those are scams. Don't listen to those. If you don't see a check mark, whether it's a comment from this channel, a comment from my personal channel, or even on Twitter, it's not real. Be smarter than that. But anyway, we obviously have to test how this thing sounds. Oh, I dented this. <laughs> it's a little dent. It's not gonna affect the sound. I've had it like three hours. <laughs> Sheesh. This is a $99 Dynamic XLR mic. We've got a couple other mics in a similar price point. Let's see how they fare. Is this beating any of them or is this just Elgato filling out the niche? So let's set up those mics. This will just take me a minute. I think, I think we have enough mics here. So we got four mics and they're some of my favorite microphones that are sub $200. So of course we have the new Elgato, which is called the Elgato Wave DX. We got the Rode Pod mic, which is the cheapest one here at $99. Well, I guess actually both of these are the cheapest ones, both at $99. We got the Shure MV7, but I'm gonna be using the XLR out so it functions just like the MV7X, which is $180. And then we have one of my new favorite members of the family, which is, oh my gosh, this is a mess, which is the Go XLR mic. And this one is $160. I'll put affiliate links to all of them down below, so if any of them intrigue you, you can go ahead and pick them up, and of course, that's gonna help out the channel, so thank you for doing that. Oh, hey, wait, hold on real quick. Before we get into the sound test, I have a couple features about the microphone I wanna tell you about. Um, I'm at a convention right now in LA, and I was talking really late last night, so my voice, I'm not sick, I just wrecked my voice in a single night. Um, but also, while I tell you about these features, one thing that I, I get frustrated about with dynamic microphone reviews is that I go from using a super fancy $1,000 shotgun microphone EQ'd compressed down to a completely raw dynamic microphone and those two things don't sound the same and so all those microphones immediately sound awful. So this is a little bit of a palate cleanser. I'm just going straight into the camera's microphone in a terribly treated room hoping that this will kind of reset your ears. But a couple features about the mic. First off, uh, it has an internal pop filter. So you don't necessarily need a pop filter. I would test it on your own voice, check your P's and T's in front of it, but it is not supposed to be necessary to have a pop filter on this thing. Also, the single-sided articulating arm on the microphone is supposed to give a lot of flexibility in terms of placing your microphone and ease of use. And probably most importantly, the Wavelink software also now has Elgato's own in-house EQ built into it. So instead of using a third-party 
free EQ like Reaper plugins or whatever you're familiar with, you can use a very simplified and very powerful Elgato EQ. This EQ most likely won't fulfill the needs of the super pro audio people, but it was designed to be intuitive and simple for the average user to use, which is probably what the market of this microphone is for. I, I assume that we've got footage of the EQ on the screen so you can kind of see how it works, but uh, but yeah, that is, that is what I've got for you. Now back to the audio test. Uh, keep in mind, by the way, dynamic microphones are not meant to sound as bright and as crisp directly out of the box as condenser microphones. So it's gonna sound a little bit dull, but you can always EQ those with the EQ software. Back to you, past Harris. So all right, starting with the Wave DX at a pretty typical length from the microphone, again, about, oh, you know, eight inches or so away from the mic, the way you should be from a dynamic mic. How's this one sound? Compared to the Rode Pod mic, which I've used personally on my streams for a while. I like the sound, it's okay. It's not the best. This is probably the most important comparison because they're the same price. But how does it sound compared to the Shure MV7X? Price going up a little bit to $180, but I have liked the sound of this mic more than most cheap mics recently. Let's jump over to the Go XLR mic, which given has its own built-in pop filter, so it might have a little bit of an advantage here, but this one goes for $170, $160. Sorry, $160. How do they all sound compared to each other? What do you think? Okay, I'm going to go and listen to these microphones real quick and then perhaps eat some dinner and then we're going to finish this up and I'm going to tell you my thoughts. All right, see you in a sec. So yeah, it's basically what I expected. I mean, it's a good sounding mic. But they're all good sounding mics and they have their differences. And if I were to say the differences, I would say that the Wave DX is already pre-EQ'd a tiny bit. And by that I mean generally dynamic mics have a lot of mid-tones in them. They're a little bit muddy. You gotta pull out that 500 hertz a little bit and it has to be done in EQ later. And the Wave DX feels like you don't need that as much. It's already got a little bit of that mid-scoop that is necessary on dynamic mics. So if anything out of all these mics, the Wave DX is probably gonna sound a little bit better right out of the box. But, like, <sighs> They all sound good. And your viewer is not gonna know the difference. In fact, if, if anything, the viewer is gonna notice the look of the mic 10 times more than they're gonna notice the sound of the mic. These are all dynamic mics. They're all good mics. Get the cheapest one. But it begs the question of, did Elgato build this mic to solve a problem? Or did they build it because they already had an audio interface that required an XLR mic, but they didn't have an XLR mic. So by releasing an XLR mic, now everyone who already is investing in the Elgato ecosystem can invest even more in the Elgato ecosystem. I mean, if you're gonna make a product that requires another product, you might as well also sell that other product. And that's not a bad thing per se. Elgato gets a more fully enveloped ecosystem and we the consumer get more options. And more options is always a good thing, especially more cheap options. It just makes me wonder, at what point is Elgato just gonna sell a bundle of an entire pre-built stream setup. It's, that's obviously the end goal, is needing nothing but Elgato. And as long as it's good and affordable, it, it's, it's a good option. We win. So look, uh, I'm going to end this by saying, if you haven't entered in the giveaway by subscribing to my personal channel, I'm going to be giving this away. Uh, subscribe to my personal channel, follow me on Twitter. Don't listen to the reply comments down below saying you want to give away, message me on Telegram. It's not me. If you want to see a full video of me testing like 20 to 25 microphones in a row so you can see the difference between a cheap microphone and an expensive microphone, video on whichever side it's on. Have a great day. Oh, I almost forgot to say happy streaming. Happy streaming.